Um, Jeffrey and Dito, talk to me about, um, because Kenyans are asking those questions and also wondering, <clears throat> Yes, it's a good um, route to seek revenue, but at the same time, there could be vested interest, especially in driving um, the agenda of privatization. How do you safeguard that <coughs> those private interests of people that could be in government do not infiltrate into uh, the whole, uh, whole, whole idea? Okay. S Sam, I think the first thing is uh, to agree that... Uh, Generally, the government has no business being in business. I'm a strong believer that uh, um, you know the government should not be <coughs> selling edible oil. The government should not be uh, you know transporting people around town and things like that. The government has its core functions, which basically is to provision of what we call public goods. And public goods are those things that the private sector would find it very difficult. Uh, you know, to, uh, to deploy things like defense, things like provision of roads, uh, provision of public, uh, you know, things like water and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so from the onset, uh, some I support a privatization. I'm actually one person who has always held the belief that the government should focus on its core functions and leave the private sector to, uh, you, you know, to do that. Mm -hmm. if, uh, just to, to echo what uh, my brother here has said, if you look at some of the parastatals that we have, they have been perennial loss makers every year. And I sit in the Public Investments Committee and we see them coming to the Committee of Parliament or even to the departmental committees and asking for more and more funding year in, year out, just to stay af afloat. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's sad that uh, as a country we have continued to feed, uh, you know, using the scars up public resources that we have, some parastatos which are actually not adding a significant value uh, to, uh, to this country, either by way of what they do, whatever they do is not strategic, uh, you know, and, 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 and some, uh, it's also good to, to realize that um, as we compete for resources, mm -hmm. do we want to keep deploying more and more money or, 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 or for these parastatos, yet some of them if left to the private sector, you know, they could be able to earn the government a much needed revenue uh, you know, in terms of taxes. And so that's why I support the, 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 the privatization program, just to ensure that first of all, the government can also raise the much needed revenue. Remember right now we're in a very tight fiscal space. So uh, there are many ways of raising money. You can tax people, you can borrow, or you can also sell your assets. It's the same way you manage your own personal finance, okay? Right. right. So, um, coming now to your question on, on the safeguards, um, the rationale of the Privatization uh, you know, Act of 2023, just, just, just like uh, uh, in my brother here has said, was obviously to introduce a framework where, where we could do this much faster. Remember, there, was, there has been a lot of talk mm -hmm. uh, for years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, that we need to privatize certain things. But just the law and the process was was so cumbersome and there was no clarity as to what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And this is what this uh, uh, act uh, sought to, you know, to basically uh, do. And um, in terms of providing safeguards, there are several safeguards that have been, that have been provided. I think there's a provision for a privatization authority, you know, that has, that has been put there. Right. There is a provision that, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the executive will send a privatization schedule to parliament, okay? which is scrutinized uh, you know, you know, by, by, by parliament. Um, there is um, obviously uh, the provision for the committees, that like, like he has said, that, that will deal with, with, with each um, you know, uh, asset that is being sold. Mm -hmm. So what, I, what I'm seeing possibly happening yesterday, you know, the, we, 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 with, with, with Azimi, you're going to court. For me, I think it's, it's premature because there's still a whole journey downstream uh, to deal with these, uh, uh, you know, privatization issues. But I think as Kenyans, we must ask, obviously, what do we need to privatize, uh, what maybe is of, um, uh, you know, sentimental value to this country, what is heritage assets, because there are certain assets which may also be classified as heritage assets. But if it is just some assets that 
right now are not strategic, they are not heritage assets, you know, <laughs> why should the government be, uh, you know, moving around, uh, you know, add oil and rice and, and, and things like that. That can be done very well and is already being done very well, you know, uh, you know, by, by the private sector. Uh, but Sam, let, 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 me, let me also say this, that uh, when we passed the 2010 constitution, one of the things we vowed is, um, you know, is to respect uh, the rule of law. And we have all agreed that our final arbiter, whenever we disagree, either on procedure or on principle, is a court. So, so, so what let me ask you, because you say um, <coughs> that um, especially assets that are not necessarily generating profits for the government, so how are they going to generate profits in the private hands? Is there a question of <coughs> management or the ownership? It's a question of, 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 of management. Some, you know, the agency theory, economics 101. The agency theory is not as strong in government the same way it is in, in, in private sector. And that's why we've seen, and uh, you know, we've seen some parastatos in the same field as a private company. The private company is <coughs> making money. The parastato, and in the same industry, is actually losing money. Mm -hmm. So, if we all know that private sector is better at running business, government is not necessarily very good at running business. Let's be honest. And that's why governments all over the world focus on their core functions, mm -hmm. providing defense, providing uh, you know, uh, infrastructure. <coughs> so I would believe that uh, private sector, first of all, is able to inject the much needed capital. Okay, right now, our parastatos are competing against very many other things. So do we, for example, today, buy, uh, use billions of shillings to buy machinery for the sugar mills, or do we take our children to school? Okay, so we are competing for that, for, for those same resources. But private sector can go and get those resources elsewhere and come and buy new, newer machinery, so, and so, so that so you find our, our sugar mills But what are your comments better. about, for instance, let me just read the list. It is the Kenya, uh, Kenya International Convention Center, that is KICC, the Kenya Literature Bureau, the National Oil Corporation, Kenya Seed Company Limited, Moya Rice Mills, Western Kenya Rice Mills, Kenya Pipeline Company, New Kenya Cooperative Cream Race, that is New KCC. Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers Limited and Rivertex East Africa Limited. Um, do you see any strategic, um, is it asset or cooperation there? Especially if you have to look at Kenya Pipeline, for instance. Sam, today oil is held, and this, this has been going on for a long, long time. Uh, our oil is held by private companies. Actually, Kenya Pipeline is, 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 is a transport company. I hope you know that. Mm -hmm. They do not own any of, uh, you know, uh, the infrastructure uh, that they have. I personally do not see it as strategic. And, and some of you, if, if I take you back, <coughs> there is a, a time this country had serious power rationing issues. Those of us who are old in the early 90s and, and whatever, you know, um, we used to have uh, six hours of power every day, especially in the months of January to around April. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is because we had relied on, we were waiting for government to basically be able to provide money to expand our generation capacity. Now that became very slow. As much as we were trying to add the taco at that time, trying to add our carrier, it was very, very slow. And the reason power stabilized, from at least a generation point of view, okay, I know we have not stabilized from a distribution point of view, is when we allowed the independent power producers to come. Much as we bedevil them and we, I mean, and, and we say maybe the contracts were lopsided and all that, and that could be true, but in terms of just having power available in this country, we seem to have resolved that. So there is always this fear that should power be in private hands, should oil be in private hands, you know, uh, there, 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 there is fear, and that fear sometimes is actually, uh, you know, unfounded. You actually find that private sector will be able to provide that good way, way better. The only thing I'll not agree, uh, Sam, to is having a private army running the country, <coughs> okay? Because that may again not be uh, acting in the best interest of all our, all the 50 million. All, all right.